try the the wood and the carbon and I think I like both. On the smaller sizes I might rather use wood because they're a little bit heavier, not much, and a little bit more flexy maybe. And uh, I like using it on strong winds better. And then on the bigger sizes, the, the carbon, so they're lighter and maybe easier for me to turn and it feels lighter on my feet. Well, I choose my board's wood because it's the strongest board uh, that I ever had and uh, yeah, it feels really good in a wave. So yeah, it's a good overall board, it's good for jumping, it's good for wave riding and yeah, with the wood and it feels like also really smooth in the wave. So it's a good board. So I never tried really carbon boards before. But yeah, they, they also they're a little bit stiffer, I think. I think uh, when I sell a, a, a wood board and a carbon, full carbon board, I see a big difference. The carbon feels so much stiffer and the wood is a lot more uh, kind of like uh, smoother, you know, like the, it, it kind of absorbs the shocks and, and you can, you know, there's no stiffness comparing to the, to, uh, the full carbon one. And uh, I think I really love the wood technology, which I think is the best thing ever in, in, in windsurfing. And it's really, really strong. It's uh, way stronger than carbon, that's what I think. And I think uh, in a wave riding, on a wave riding board, you totally feel the difference. Uh, uh, you, you feel that, you know, when you are on a bottom turn, the, 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 the wood, the wood, the wood board is like it. It it helps you to to make really like easier drives and and and, and uh, nicer drives if you know what I mean. While the carbon one is kind of stiffer, you know, like it gets like uh, stuck and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have that feeling of like a buoy thing, you know. Like while the carbon is more like soft and it allows you to do that, you know. For the body construction, I like the wood actually. It gets really windy and choppy because it's much more smoother on the on the on the water. Um, for the carbon, I like it when it's like um, flat flat conditions, pretty um, light wind because then you have like better um, feeling on the on the on the board. So basically, for for our doing styling, I think that the wood is better. Um, I think for fuerte, I will, I will use the, the wood. Because in Fuerte you have like like really really heavy conditions, like really choppy water and pretty strong wind. And I think for 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 Austria or, or Bonaire or Aruba, I will use the the, um, the um, carbon board because it's much better. It becomes lighter and everything, so it's, you can also go higher and everything like that. For sure, I like both. Both construction is really good. Uh, the most I sail on is wood because it's, the wood feeling is really connecting to the water and I used to it already and yeah I sail like in the in the heats I sail like just the wood and before the final I go with the carbon so everything go, goes so higher and much smooth 
and yeah the carbon is really fast you know it's much faster than the wood the feeling is like you're flying you know Uh, well, I ride the uh, starboard wakeboards, I ride the quad and the coaster coat. And in my light wind boards, I tend to use the full carbon construction uh, just because in the wind's light, any gust of wind you want, you want that to get you moving. Uh, so from 92 down to 82, uh, I'll use full carbon. And then below that, when it gets really windy, you're obviously going to be jumping a lot more. Um, and you want a tougher board really so I, I moved to the wood construction for like 77, my 74 and my 70 I'll use the wood construction but I just find that for big high jumps that, that stuff's tough as old boots For choosing construction, I will say uh, it depends where, where you sell most of the time. What is your level? I think if you have very good level and you want something very precise, you have to go for carbon. If you want to have something a little bit smooth and uh, more relaxed, I will go for wood. And uh, if you want the buff, you go for wood carbon. <laughs> Yes, yeah, since last year, particularly, I uh, was working with uh, construction test, and I'm trying to make uh, our board lighter, yes, but not only lighter, more comfortable. And uh, by only the construction also, you can have sometimes both comfort and more speed. So I'm working really on this, and uh, we can find something really interesting, like today. Uh, that uh, only a construction can make a huge difference. So it's really important to take part uh, of this uh, development uh, to work on the construction. I kind of use uh, in, uh, in general everything. I use both custom and, and production. Mostly to jump I use production because I like a uh, single fin for jumping and then I also like to, to try my, uh, my customs against uh, production in just to, to, to be able to develop and, and find better boards that I can get easier. You know, production is easy, easier to get rather than, uh, than customs. But uh, for now, for example, for wave riding, my, uh, my uh, rails and, and, and rocker line is, is really kind of hard for average people. So I use custom boards till now in a lot in wave riding. But in general, I use both. Production. Yeah, I, I use the production codes. 100% production? Yeah, 100%. Um, I use both, a little bit of both. Um, sometimes custom, sometimes production, but uh, yeah, I use both. I use production boards. I have I have one one custom, but 99.9% uh, .9 of uh, my time I use uh, production. Actually, I have almost the whole range of production, but mostly I use the 69 quad, 74 quad, and also the code 68. I use totally production boards. 100% production boards. Production boards. I, I hate custom boards. You try custom boards? Right? Yeah, and I don't like because when it, when, when it breaks, then you cannot use it anymore. And then what are you gonna do? So it's simple. Yeah. Production board, man. Production board? 100%? Yeah, 100%. Always, never use custom ever in my life. <laughs> you modify your board? No, never. They are good, so why need to modify it? <laughs> production boards. 100%? 100% production, yeah. yeah. Or 
No, I've never been on customs. No. Always production, yeah. 100%. For slalom, I use production, but you cannot use a custom board in slalom. So uh, I have one custom board for Pozo because it's very, very strong, but I use uh, all production board for home and the other event. Uh, cameras are unfortunately uh, always uh, production, but no, not unfortunately, but no, Pro production cameras, of course, they are the best. I mean, everybody tests them already. It's like production boards. <laughs>